everybody and welcome back to the Curious Stitches podcast. My name's Ellie and I come to you from Exeter, which is in the southwest of England in the UK. And this channel is mostly about knitting, with a little bit of spinning, crochet and sewing sort of scattered in. And very occasionally what I've been painting. <laughs> so, carrying on from last week's vlog, um, I went ahead and ordered needles I was missing and some I wasn't <laughs> because it's always nice to have new needles and some are going to wear out soon um, so these ones are all on their way out which is why they're not in the case so I got some needle cords from Angela who is Yarn and Yarns They are the Snipped Pro Smart Sticks. So I got two 40 centimeter ones, and I got two 60 centimeter ones, and then I also bought some more Eucalan. So they've changed the name now, but it is still Eucalan. I bought a big bottle of the Jasmine wool wash because I really enjoyed it. And I bought a small one of the eucalyptus scent. Now I got the eucalyptus purely to use on Phoebe, who's my dog, one of my dogs, Phoebe's clothes um, that she wears at walking and things because it helps, the eucalyptus helps prevent fleas. Um, now my other two dogs, Navi is over there on the chair and Joey's in the bed by the way so they can't use anything like that because it's lanolin based and they're allergic to lanolin so <laughs> I bought some more wool wash as well as those Mandela and then from the little knitting company who I sort of dip in and out of normally via eBay um, they're one of my favourite places on eBay but this time I went straight to the store because uh, they had everything that I needed in one place so instead of buying three needles from one shop and three needles from another shop I went ahead and I took everything that I was missing so DPNs I got all my DPNs now I will say all the needles that I bought from there are the Chowgu needles and they are uh, six inch premium stainless steel so I got 2.75 3.25 3.75 4 millimeter 4.5 5 7 and 8 millimeter so now these won't ever break I'm so fed up with needles wearing out or breaking which is why I swapped back to, to metal needles. Now I always used to knit with metal needles, um, but when I was really ill, I found that the, the just even the temperature hurt my hands. And someone said to me that I should knit with wood needles, so I did. And yes, it helped at the time, but I have spent a lot of money replacing wooden needles, and now I won't have to replace my metal ones. So, I've got what's that, eight new DPNs, so that's DPNs. And then because I get on well, so well with the Chowgu red twist shorties that Abby got me for Valentine's Day, not 21, but in 20, so Valentine's Day 2020, um, I got the blue set. So these are the bigger sized ones and they go from, uh, let's see, bigger size, the diameter, three and a half millimeter to five millimeter. So now I've got from two to five millimeter, which is everything I need for jumpers. Um, and if I need to go bigger than that, I have DPNs. So. And then, 
I went ahead and bought the Chowgu Twist Complete Set. So I got the sterling steel and I went for the four inch tips because I prefer those with my hands, not the five inch tips. That is something that I've noticed also when my knitting needles are a bit long, the ends, but I really like the shorter ones. Um, but I didn't just get the complete set. Now on their little knitting company, there are three options to get the complete set. You've got the standard complete, the extra complete, and then the deluxe. So I went in between. So it gave me more needle sizes. So if I take this back out of its bag, in the Chowgu Complete set, you get um, 2.75 to 5 millimeter, and then you get 5.5, 6, 6.5, 8, 9, and tenths, which is brilliant because you don't normally get 9 millimeter in the sets, in the full sets. So the I went for the plus, so it meant that I got a the three extra size needles. So it's a two and a half millimeter, a seven millimeter, and a seven and a half millimeter. Now I have been after these two sizes for ages. So yeah, so I now have the complete set, and it comes with uh, all the cords for both size needles because with Chowgu up to a certain size the fitting on them is smaller than the fitting on the bigger size. So I got all of those and I'm very happy with them. Um, and I'm trying to faffing. <laughs> I'm trying to figure out which one of my designs to cast on next sort of thing. Now, I have a lot of designs coming out um, in the next two to three years. Um, I scratched my nose when I'm nervous. I just realised it's one of my ticks. But, I put it back together. So, with the likers, I'm going to be casting on one of my patterns and is it this bag? Yes, it is using this and this and I'm so excited. Now it's part of my casting runes collection. There is a jumper and there are going to be some socks or slipper socks, DK rate slipper socks. There are going to be some mitts in this colour and then there's going to be a hat in these colours. So those are all coming down the pike. Um, as well as many many other things including a raven jumper that I am sort of yay far through and socks and hat and all sorts. So I'm currently working on about 11, 12 designs. Um, I'm busy, busy, um, and I'm thoroughly enjoying them. So at the moment, I'm not doing any personal knitting. I'm only doing my pattern work knitting. Otherwise, I'd be showing you all the stuff. But this has been a little foam coaster for me. This is the Lottie. So this was my colourwork swatch. Um, and I did her a while ago, but I can show you her. So yes, so she sits next to my laptop. Um, yeah, so I will be able to show you some proper knitting next week. Um, all the stuff that I finished for Christmas um, and hopefully Lottie 
fingers crossed I'm feeling okay showing it in person I'm just gonna wear it I think <laughs> but yes so I did finish Abby socks and Neve's jumper and quite a few other bits and pieces that have already gone um, did I finish anything else and I might show you some of the other stuff that I got for Christmas because um, everyone I know this year got me crafty bits which made me very happy. So yes. Also been taking part in Carrie's Sock Spin Along who is my wool mitten on Instagram and YouTube. I will also link her down below. Um, and I have been spinning a gradient from Hilltop Cloud. I'm doing Wrigley Tin and Bamboo Carpet. And I've put them both together and I've split them in two. And I'm spinning both colorways, color gradients, as one long gradient. And then I'm going to be uh, chain plying that, but with a single ply of undyed Polworth. Um, and the idea is that I want to spin to make both Abby and I a pair of socks for Valentine's Day. Admittedly that's only a month away and I've still got to finish spinning it. <laughs> I'm not a fast spinner. But you know, I'll insert a couple of photos here of how I've been getting on so you can see. Um, so yeah, how have you guys all been? Have you been enjoying New Year and things? Um, I know I have. <laughs> Navi snoring behind you. <laughs> it's so cute. So yes. Um, I'm doing okay. My family is doing okay. Um, I've had my third vaccine, my booster shot. Um, I'm actually able to get mine uh, sooner and at my doctor's surgery because I'm on the uh, vulnerable, vul that's a hard word, vulnerable list due to my health. Um, so I've been very fortunate and very lucky to be able to get the vaccine. Um, I'm not going to talk about what's been going on in the news regarding our Prime Minister because it's just, it's not healthy. It's not healthy to get angry about something that you have no control over. Um, so my family and myself are doing the right thing, protecting ourselves, protecting those we love. You know. So yeah. But that is all I have time for today. So like I said, I will show more knitting stuff and uh, crafty presents and things next week. So. It's been nice to be here and catching up. I hope you've all enjoyed seeing me. <laughs> so, let's do the algorithm bit. If you like this video, please can you like and subscribe down below. And, uh, yeah. I'll see you all next week. Bye.